Hey guys, it's Janet Vosky. Today I want to talk a little bit more about my poetry books in terms of the self-publishing aspect and I guess my opinion between the soft cover and the hard cover itself. So let's get into it. Originally when I was publishing my first poetry book, Bones, the reason why I selected a soft cover was simply because of the content. Looking back, now that I have a hard cover as well, I definitely want to make it a set. Um, as you can see, they're two completely different sizes, so I would love to have them both have the same size. Um, but going back to the first book, which is a soft cover, it's been through a lot. <laughs> it's definitely been through a lot. You can see the edges have actually come apart just a tiny bit, but I've bruised and battered this like there's no tomorrow. See, just next to the spine as well. Some of the plastic is showing. My books that I'm showing you are actually the very first copies that I ever printed. So these are the books that I used when I posted about them on social media and on YouTube. Okay, now a couple of reasons why I like the soft cover is because it's way more compact. It's not as thick as the hard cover. It's bendy. It makes me feel like I could just chuck this in my bag and read it on a picnic or in a park and not feel like it's taking too much space, I guess. On the other hand, the hard cover could be used as a weapon. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> or am I? <laughs> I don't even know. So the hardcover, you can also see around the spine a little bit of damage, but all in all has held up really well. The interior is also quite good. I mean, this whole bloody book is amazing. If you haven't already got it, pick it up. <laughs> but the main thing with the hardcover that you need to consider, particularly if you are looking to self-publish, is when you are doing the bleeds. So what I mean by that is when you have the image, that you want on the back of your book, you're going to have to center this text, but the bleed will be here. So it will be like this. Wait, hang on. Let me just use the other book. It'll kind of be like this. So you will think that you have to center it like this, but you need to just ignore the fact that they have that bleed. Like I'll, I'll, I'll use an example and I'll put the template up on the screen so you know what I'm talking about but you need to ignore them essentially <laughs> because you need to consider that this text should be centered from the beginning on this side to the right hand side on this side. And the very first time I printed this, I actually did not realize I had to do that and I had to redo the whole process. I think that was the main takeaway for me with the hardcover. The interior of my book, I also selected a cream color. Uh, I really liked that because it just had a warm, feeling and it's less textbooky like the white is so if you're also umming and ahhing about the off-white interior versus just the white i would definitely go with the off-white but that's just my opinion i did a similar thing with bones my first poetry book it really looks white but it's definitely not white it's the uh it's the cream essentially what it comes down to is the aesthetics and how you want your book to look the main thing that i think i would consider when it comes to that is the size with ingram spark the hard covers start at a particular size so it also depends on the size of the book that you want because you may not be able to get a hard cover if you're looking to get something this small now the reason why i decided to show you the very first copies of the books that i had printed for me is just so you can see wear and tear because i have I've thrown these books around. <laughs> um, I mean, I love these books. I would not, you know, I wouldn't do anything to... <laughs> anything really bad to them. But, um, I mean, I put them in sand. I throw it on sand for a video or a particular look that I'm going for when I want to post it to my social media as an example. But I did want to show you these copies simply because you can see the quality of them after I have, you know, done such things with my own books. My personal opinion is that they both are quite great quality. The hardcover, the only thing I didn't like about the hardcover is, uh, see that on the spine. So the plastic kind of has come off a little bit. I mean, it has also for the soft cover, as you can kind of see there, but it's not as obvious. If this is a major turn off, I mean, you probably won't be throwing your book in sand like I did for videos. <laughs> Um, I guess it's just something to consider. The interior is still perfect, so nothing wrong there. 
So for both of my books, I chose the matte finish. I'll also share what my books look like when they're new so you can also get a feel for that as well. In conclusion, if you are self-publishing through Ingram Spark, the only thing that I think needed to know before I actually came down to doing the cover itself was for the hardcover and the bleed. What I'll do is I'll put the template that I had and that I did to actually get this cover done with this text centered. I'll put it on the screen so you have an idea of how you should do it if you're doing that yourself. Okay, so if you are centering the text on the back of your book, this is what I meant by considering the bleed, which is here, when you are looking to print your book. So essentially you need to ignore the fact that the bleed is going to run through here, which is originally, as you can see, what I've done because it looks centered now. But you have to consider that when your book will be printed, it will include the bleed, which will be right up until the spine. What you need to do in that case, you will be ignoring that bleed section that they have in the template itself. Okay, here you will see the template that I downloaded from Ingram Spark when I was doing the book cover. These lines, all these lines, both vertical and horizontal, they all indicate where the bleed lines are. And what that is, is a line that tells you that it probably will not be printed correctly if you put text or something in particular within those spaces. So originally I had thought that what I have highlighted now, considering that it is inside the bleed, would have printed centered. But as you saw in that video, it actually did not come out printed correctly because the print had included it up until this section. So you can quite obviously see now that it's no longer centered. That's what I meant earlier by ensuring that you do consider this bleed section closer to the side of where your spine is going to be because it is going to be printed. So I'm just going to switch the screen. Now this template is the template that I went with. After I had printed that one copy, I quite quickly saw that there was something wrong. And what I did was fix the issue. So again, I'm doing the same thing. I'm putting this screen up so you can see that it's not including the bleed section, this section here. And you can obviously see that I've fixed it and it will be centered when I print it because it comes down to this line here. And that's it. The last thing that I'm going to share is when it comes to finally printing your book, because you were so excited, you finally got the cover done, you finally got the interior finished. Only print one book. Print that one book and just check it from front to back. When that copy is perfect, you can print as many copies as you need or like. <sighs> if there's anything that I missed or other questions that you have, Make sure you leave them down in the comment section. I read all the comments. I mean, I only get like two or three, but that's fine. <laughs> this is your reminder to not give up on your dream. Yes, it's going to be difficult. Yes, there's going to be a lot of challenges, but it's so rewarding and you are able to get through this. You are going to get through this. Is this hypnotizing yet? <laughs> if you're feeling overwhelmed, I'm not gonna say don't. <laughs> Wow, wonderful, that's great advice, isn't it? Don't you love it when people say that though? <laughs> All I'm going to say is to not give up on the dreams that you have. If you have wanted to do this for an X amount of time and you now realize that you still haven't done it but you've always been thinking about it, that's your sign to do it. It doesn't matter how difficult it is because the reward at the end and the achievement you will feel of actually getting it done, something that you are so passionate about, will be so much more rewarding than questioning, am I able to do that? Because the answer to that is yes. We're good now. We're great. Everything's great. If you are interested in my books at all, they're available on Amazon, they're available on other book retailers, as well as my website, which I'll leave all in my description down below. Today I'm going to talk about the process that I... Okay, what is that fly? <laughs> hey guys, it's Jan... Hey guys! <laughs> it's... <laughs>
first copies that I printed of each of my books. So these are the these are the copies of the books. <laughs> the other thing I chose. The other thing I chose. Oh Jesus! <laughs> oh my God! I thought I wasn't. Um, I just read a really sad poem. <laughs> God, I'm 